Thank you for watching today. My name is Roger Barreto with CableGiant.com and I'm here to introduce the new Easy RJ Pro heavy duty crimp tool and show you how to install a connector onto a piece of category cable so you can make a patch cord or uh, a network data cable. First of all, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the tool itself. It's a, a pretty unique tool in that not only will it do category 5, category 5E, CAT6, and RG1211 connectors. Also, it incorporates a cutter for your category cables and also a flat cutter, which I'll show you how that is important. Either that can be used for cutting telephone flat cable or, in my case, cutting the conductors off uh, closely so you can install them in a connector easily. Now the nice thing about this tool is that it eliminates two other tools that were required prior to this tools uh, incorporating those features. Uh, either it eliminates the need for a, a flat cutter like this and, and a strip tool. So basically this tool uh, gives you three tools in one. Okay, first of all, uh, we need to prepare the cable to install the connector. First thing we want to do is grab the tool. Um, you have two sides of the tool. The side with the little red guide is the side you want to use to insert the cable. Uh, we go in about two inches, twist the cable 360 degrees, it scores it, you pop the cable, and uh, you now expose the four pairs of your Category 5E cable. I like to tell everybody to keep this little uh, piece of jacket because it becomes a tool in itself. And I'm going to show you how um, easy it is to prepare the cable. The first thing you want to do is you need to separate the pairs, and you can do that easily by using this little piece of jacket material that you removed earlier. You can see where uh, I'm just using it to divide the pair and then I move it all the way down to the end so that the pairs are separated. Once you do all of that you're going to wind up with a cable like this and then the first thing you want to do, these are already straightened out, I grab the tool and I like to pull the kinks out of the cable and make them as straight as possible so that's easier to install into the connector. So this is what we started with and this is what you want to wind up with before you install the connector. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to, in most cases you want to use what's called the T568B wiring diagram and it comes with a tool in the form of a little pamphlet. It's also engraved in the tool, both the A and the B wiring charts. So for this exercise, we're going to use the B wiring diagram. And the B wiring diagram calls for your orange white, your orange, and all I'm doing right now is laying them side by side in my fingers. So you have your orange white, your orange. The next color is your white green. Next color to that is your blue. Then you've got your white blue. Then you've got your green. your white, brown, and your brown. And once you get those all together, and you want to keep them as flat as possible so they're all in um, sequence, I grab the tool again and I use the flat portion of the uh, cutting blade and I install the wires in there and cut them off so I have a nice clean end on the end of the cables, or the conductors. Now I grab the, the, uh, the connector and the thing you want to make sure you do is put the clip downside so you're looking at the, uh, the brass connectors and now you install the cable. And if you've done this correctly, the nice thing about this particular Easy RJ45 connector is that you can confirm that you have the wiring according to the T568B wiring chart. So we've got, just to repeat, your orange white, your orange, your white green, your blue, your blue white, your green, your brown white, and your brown. So once you know that that's uh, incorrectly, you want to push the jacket up into the connector until it seats to the bottom. Then all you do is you twist the wires, and you do this to keep the wire from slipping back down because it's important with category cable that you maintain the twist with inside the jacket and you want to keep the twist as close to the contacts on this connector as you can. So once you get the cable in the connector, all you do now is grab the tool, 
You see you have uh, two, two uh, dies in here. One is for your RJ1211 and the other one is for your RJ6 and your RJ uh, Cat 5 e So now I'm going to put it in. I'm going to crimp down on it. And what it does is it cuts the cable and installs a connector. And the nice thing about this tool is that you also can um, use strain reliefs. And here's a sample of a, a Cat 5 connector uh, and a strain relief installed. Now all of these part numbers, the, the connectors, the strain reliefs, uh, the Easy Pro tool, and even some of the other miscellaneous tools can be found on our website. Uh, I hope this was uh, informative for you, and we thank you for watching CableGiant.com.